at Strangers Making Spirits Bright for One Family tonight. Two weeks ago, the Will Hyde family lost everything in a fire, leaving them homeless. But when a car dealership heard their story, they knew they had to do something to help. 7 Action News reporter Ruta Olsenaida has the heartwarming story. At the Brighton Ford dealership, there's a lot more going on here than just the selling of cars. They're also selling hope to families who need it most. Is there one more? I'll go grab it. When the Brighton Ford dealership heard of what happened to the Wilhite family just two weeks ago, they knew they had to do something. They packed up care packages full of blankets, toiletries, and gift cards for the family of five who stopped by Friday completely unaware of what was about to happen. We have a little something for you. A small gesture to help the family get through. Best yeah. of luck to you. I hope yeah. everything goes okay. I know it's been a challenging time. The Will Heights have lived in this Howell home for four years. On December 10th, an extension cord to a heater caught fire and the home went up in flames with the oldest son, Shane, still inside. It was just too big for him to try to stop it. Shane got out safely, but the house, especially 16-year-old's Cadence's room, is completely gone. My rabbit that I just got, uh, she sadly passed in it, and like a lot of my belongings that I had, like sentimental stuff. Some of that sentimental stuff included items that belonged to her mom, who passed away 12 years ago to lung cancer. They just gave her eight months to live and... It was an inoperable esophagus cancer around her, well, lung cancer that's wrapped. And it was eight months to the day. When Brighton Ford dealership vice president John Cuter heard of the family's story, he knew he had to do something to help. It's so important to give back because, like I say, the need is so great in all communities, but uh, it, it's really special to us to be able to do that, to give back. In fact, John and his team have helped out five families this holiday season and gave out something a lot larger earlier this year. I have a home here and I offered them my house for because there's they have nowhere to go. For the Will Heights, just knowing someone has their back during the holidays is what matters most. I was very thankful for everyone here at the board yeah. to help. It's a super big blessing for us. Anything really helps. And if you would like to keep this giving train going and help out the family, you can donate to their GoFundMe link. That's up on our website, WXYZ.com. In Howell, Rudolph Sinaida, 7 Action News. Oh, thank you so much, Ruda.